sound check before we switch over. Okay, so my mic is over there, so it's not going to pick up, so I'm just going to speak louder. Louder! Right, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this 20 watt laser. Uh, we've just got it from China, so if I can hear myself with the delay there, that's really annoying. So yeah, we're just going to unbox it, uh, and then we're going to set it up. I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera, just because I think it weighs about 40 kilos, so I'm going to have to wait till Rick gets here to actually pull it out of the box. But we're going to have a look, you know, the packaging, see what it comes in, and hopefully tonight get it set up and do a test. We've got to set the software and stuff up, so if I can get my camera set up, um, I will. I'll show you the difficulties I've got with recording because most of my stuff is actually is actually tethered to my desk. So hopefully you can hear this. We're going to switch over to the other camera now. I'm not actually going to be able to see or monitor any chat or anything. So hopefully I'm going to bring that up on my phone and we'll go from there. So. Right, you can see the details on the bottom there. Sorry, Frank, I'm getting rid of that thing. I asked you to send me a PNG and you sent me a JPEG, so I've just recopied it across the bottom. Where are we? See you later. Probably should wait for Rick to get here. Let me just have a listen to the... Right, let me just have a listen to the sound here. Check, check. All right, that's pretty good. leave the chat window there right let's get on with this uh, the top has already been open um, apparently yeah customs customs have had their greasy little mitts on the package so let's open this up this costs about two thousand seven hundred dollars before shipping tax, and that's including shipping. Just gonna have a look at what they've charged us in in VAT. Okay, that's gonna be about five hundred dollars in VAT. Yay. Okay, we'll wait till we get that bill. Right, let's switch this round. That is a hinge. No, it doesn't say the weight. Right, let's see if we can get this. Not too far. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit on that. Probably the best I'm going to be able to do. So, lump of wood there. Nice. I'm guessing this was packaged a bit better until customs got their hands on it. Probably wanted to see if there was any drugs in there. All right, we'll open that in a sec. Let's put that to one side. Put the UK plug. Okay, I 
think what I'm going to do... See if I can pull the sides off this. Well, for shitty bits of wood, they're pretty, pretty well packaged. Okay. So they've got the bottom bit done as well. Try and slide this out. Okay, so it's not that. I mean, it is pretty heavy actually. Okay, so let's have a look at the bits they've given us in here. Hey, Alan Keys. We've got the USB drive, a fuck ton of paperwork, bloody hell. Check that out. Is that blank paper? What the fuck? Alright Frank, what are you doing? Is that supposed to be a manual? I have no idea what that is for. Okay, so lots of blank paper. And standard little USB lead there. So, yeah, this looks like the USB pen drive and a screw. A nice set of Allen keys. Okay, let's move all of this over here. Okay, let's undo this package first. Okay, some wood in there. <laughs> Is that literally wood? What the fuck? So is this me actually unboxing bits of wood? There better be something in there. I'll tell you one thing. There ain't no t-shirt in here, Frankie boy. 
Not cool. Okay, yeah, so this is wood. What the fuck? Okay, well, thanks for the bits of glued wood. I'm guessing this was ballast of some sort. So, not actually a package. I am curious, though, to see whether there is anything in there or it is actually just wood. Okay, just wood. Just wood with razor bits and fucking shit sticking out of it. Ah, oh, look at that. And there's me hoping there's a t-shirt in there. Not cool. Okay. Spend all that money, you ask for a t-shirt, and what do you get? Could have wore it for the video. Could have worn my uh, extra small t-shirt. Okay, let's get this unwrapped. Do not bend fiber optic cable. Okay, we won't do that. The top of this looks like Johnny Five. Okay, so first impressions, at the base of this, it's really well made. But we'll get it up on the table in a minute. In the second video, I'll do. And we'll go from there and have a proper look at it. Hopefully, get it set up. And we'll do some test engraving. Damaged. Okay. Right. Can we get down low on that? Get, 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 get low. Okay. Look at this budget filming. Okay, that's eh, not that bad. Okay, so it's got some, it's got the lens at the top there, some quite beasty fans on the side. Got power supply on the back here. Huge chunk of aluminium on there. I mean, the quality of this, considering some of the stuff you get from China, is really good. Um, what I will say is, you left a fan out. Why is there no fan? So, part of me thinks, it looks like there's wires. He'll tell me. You don't need that one. We just put an extra hole there because it looked symmetrical. But I wonder if I got a discount and they thought, well, you ain't having three fans. All right. So yeah, that's fucking hell, man. So yeah, that's it so far. Oh, that's a good start. Your logo's peeling off there. We'll just stick that back on. This up here. I mean, out of all of the machines we've looked at, this one here is a self-leveling machine. So I'm hoping once we get this on later, uh, it will actually set itself and we can start doing some tests. So I'm guessing this, uh, this here is probably the area that we can cover. 
So at the moment it's set to 260 and this plate here is stopping it going any further. So that's probably as close as this laser is allowed to get. Uh, got an issue with straight lines there. That's, that's not straight for Interplay. It's not straight. I can't endorse this. It's just not straight. Okay, I think I've got someone calling me. Hold up. It's all right. Mummy dear. So yeah, what I'll do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna end this video here. We're gonna get the ventilation set up because you don't want to be using this without any ventilation. We'll get it set up on the machine. Um, I'll try and get the camera over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'll just show you. This is as far across the room as I can get if I turn this around. That's where I normally record. You can see the wire coming out here, the extension lead. This is as actually as far over as I can get. So, let's flick this back over. Okay, let's put that there. Great, knocked everything over. All right, so first impressions looks pretty good. Um, few little bits on there that I'm not happy with. Didn't have my t-shirt, Frank. Didn't have my t-shirt, mate. I was hoping to wear that for the video. Uh, hopefully it's gonna do exactly what we want. We've got a couple of uh, bits that we're gonna test on and then we've actually got one X here that we're gonna test and try and take the back off and maybe even refit the back. Don't know if we're gonna get that done today. Obviously I wanna get the computer set up I want to get familiar with the software. It might be the case that that's just not possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film doing this just simply because, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be difficult getting the cameras over there. So what I've done is I've brought my camera stand. Hopefully I'm going to record that and then I'll upload it later today. So uh, we'll do some editing on it, try and get it nice and short. I promised Frank that I would do a nice, good English video for them so people can see what they're going to expect and see how easy it is to use straight out the box. So it should be a lot of me scratching my head going, uh, what's going on with this? So yeah, I've never done any CNC lasering or anything like that. I've used CNC machines before, but as for programming them and setting them up, that's a different matter. Like he's assured me with the self leveling feature and the jig that comes with it. This is really as simple for doing iPhones. It's pre-set up so we will see that because quite a lot of companies that we deal with in China will pretty much say anything to to get you to buy their products. Um, that's just the way it is. They're pretty good salesmen as it goes. So, um, Like he promised me a t-shirt. Where's my t-shirt? Not happy about my t-shirt. You know, that's why I bought the machine. But anyway, so if you're listening, Frank, I want my t-shirt. I'm going to send it back. So, yeah, we're going to end this video here. And I'll put all these videos together. Hopefully my business partner, Ricky, will be here. And maybe we'll get his phone set up so I can get a couple of different angles. And we'll go through the software and we'll start lasering some stuff. See how powerful it is. See, maybe even do some designs on the back of some iPhones. I've only actually got one. Uh, iPhone X here that needs to be done that we've been saving so um, we're going to save that for when we're properly set up and yeah after that hopefully because uh, the reason we bought this I didn't even explain that did I the reason we bought this is not to write fancy writing on the back that's actually just a bonus of it it's actually to separate the glass from the 8s and the X's and any other future iPhone that I'm guessing is going to be uh, lasered on it's also good for lasering LCDs off and other things that have got glue that's really difficult to remove so um, as long as it's got the clearance in the area it will it will do it and as long as you've got the jig set up right it will do it as well so I don't know if anybody's seen any of the videos of these laser machines working but they are pretty impressive when they get going and you theoretically you don't even have to take the phone apart to be able to do the repair so that's not what we're going to 
do. We've got our own ideas on how to do this properly to get a more lasting repair. I've seen a lot of people taking Dremels to the, to, you know, to the frames where the camera is. We actually want to remove that frame and then replace the frame. So that does involve opening the phone and taking the camera mount out. Obviously that's going to add time to the repair, but it will be a much more lasting repair because when you buy the glass with the cradle on the back, it's a much nicer finish than the half lens you're buying off the front and then re-gluing to the glass. So you're relying on that bezel um, to stay on there with the glue. And also if you're not very neat with the glue, it spills out. Uh, if it's not very centered, it's not going to look very good. So there's that to contend with as well. But yeah, we'll see. It's a new thing, you know, there's stuff we bought in the past and spent money on and it's turned out to be a load of rubbish. Um, but I'm hoping this is actually going to be a decent tool. Um, it's one of the most expensive bits of uh, equipment we've bought. So um, I swore by it, even though I don't really know a lot about it. You know, firsthand, I've done a lot of research and it seems like the technology is good. Uh, and this particular machine here is brand new on the market it's about a month old um, it's the very it's the world's first self-leveling one so all of the other ones you've got to take a laser um, a ruler to and then you've got to remeasure things and make sure everything's exact otherwise the laser will burn too deep uh, and whatnot so yeah this is going to be the first one that you just theoretically stick into the jig it levels it you move over to the laser engraver select the profile you want and zap it should take the back off so we'll soon see we'll soon see uh thanks for watching this one like i said uh there's gonna be a part two maybe even a part three maybe even a part four obviously we want to test it as well as we can that involves doing multiple different jobs on it so i'll certainly be back with uh writing names and writing designs into the back of phones that's something i'm really interested in doing so uh, as always thanks for watching and hopefully i'll be back on later if not i'll upload a video later see you later